Hello, welcome to our channel, how are you? May you always be healthy and more enthusiastic, M. Min. Summary of the storyline of the film this time, entitled You Only Live Twice Jupiter 16, the American spacecraft, was hijacked by an unknown spacecraft. America accuses Russia of piracy. The Russians carry out a spaceship launch, but while in orbit, their craft is also hijacked by an unknown spacecraft. England, through the information obtained, suspected that the piracy was carried out by another party. Then, Britain suggested an investigation to prevent war between America and Russia. While in Hong Kong, James Bond was framed and shot by his girlfriend, presumably Bond died in the attack. M meets with Bond, who turns out to be still alive, which Bond's faked death is used to investigate the spaceship hijacker, who is thought to be in Japan. In Japan, Bond meets Aki, who is an intelligence agent, then Aki drove Bond, met with Mr. Henderson, MI6 a representative agent in Japan, but, Mr. Henderson was killed, while trying to explain his plan. Bond disguises himself as Henderson's killer, and arrives at the Azato Chemicals Company, then Bond, assisted by Aki, escapes from the guards, and is escorted to meet Tiger Tanaka, head of Japanese intelligence. Bond meets Mr. Azato, owner of Azato Chemicals, to investigate photos recovered from Azato's safe, pictures of ships bearing the words Ningpo Shanghai, which is Azato's ship, and materials for the manufacture of rocket fuel. While investigating the Kobe dock, where the Ningpo ship is located, Bond is caught by Mr. Azato, who turned out to be working with Spectre. Mr. Azato orders number 11, named Brant, to kill Bond, but Bond manages to save himself, from a trap on Brant's exploding plane. Tanaka and Aki explain their findings to Bond, it is suspected that the Ningpo ship unloaded its cargo on Matsu Island, the island between Kobe and Shanghai. Q comes to see Bond, carrying a modified mini-helicopter with weaponry. The mini-helicopter, capable of incapacitating four Spectre helicopters, attacked Bond while investigating the volcano on Matsu Island. Bond is told by Tanaka, to undergo training in ninja techniques, and marries a local Matsu Island girl, named Kisi Suzuki, in order to go undercover and investigate Matsu Island. At night, an assassin wants to kill Bond, but instead kills Aki who is with Bond. Bond and Suzuki investigate the volcanic crater, after seeing a helicopter enter the crater, then Bond goes inside the crater, which is known to be Spectre's base of operations, and there is a rocket called Bird One, which is used to hijack the spaceship. Bond saves the astronauts, from the American and Russian spacecraft, which were hijacked by Spectre. Bond disguises himself as an astronaut, and is about to get into the rocket, but number one suspects and calls Bond, and for the first time, Bond finally learns that number one, the head of Spectre is named Ernst Stavro Blofeld. Blofeld kills Azato and Brandt, who had failed to kill James Bond. Blofeld took advantage of cooperation with the government, who was not named, but was seen from the men he ordered, who happened to expect America and Russia to go to war. Suzuki comes with Tanaka and his ninja squad, rushing into Blofeld's base, after Bond's door to the crater is opened. Bond was about to be killed by Blofeld, but luckily Tanaka managed to thwart him, while Bond heading to the control room, to stop Bird One from hijacking the recently launched American spaceship, confronts Hans Blofeld's bodyguard, and Bond defeats Hans, by dropping him into a piranha pool. 
Bond manages to stop Bird 1, by detonating it, and the American spacecraft, managed to survive, and averted a war between America and Russia. Bond, Suzuki, Tanaka and their ninja squad, escape from the base destroyed by Blofeld, and they all survive. That's a summary of the storyline of the film this time, please support our channel by clicking subscribe. Thank you, see you again.